Hello everyone, my name is Scott and I'm a member of the Popbox team. We've put together a quick video to cover all things concerning apps. The first thing is installing apps. Let's press the home button on the remote and then go over to apps, the second icon from the left. The first category is the My Apps category. This is one of the two places you can view and run all the apps you already have installed. For now, let's navigate down to the All Apps category on the left. You may see some of the apps have a green check mark. This means that it has already been installed. One app I don't have installed yet is Revision 3. Why don't we install it now? Once you hit the OK button on the remote, you'll see an info box come up. Here you can see who developed the app, the app version, what category it belongs to, if it offers a widget, and of course a description. If you decide you want to install the app, make sure the install button is highlighted and then press OK on the remote. A progress bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. After a few seconds, it should finish installing. Now we can either launch the app directly by selecting Start, or go back and install more apps by clicking Cancel. Let's go ahead and start the app real quick. As you can see, the app then acts as a portal to all the partner's content available. Why don't we check out the different shows on Revision 3? Each app navigates slightly differently depending on the content provider and who developed it. Using the arrow keys and the OK button should be all you need though. To exit the app, just hit the home button. This works on all apps. The second place to access your apps is in your media library. Once you're on the media library screen, press the blue button on the top of the remote. This will take you to the apps page. Here you can view all the apps that are currently installed or browse them based on their category. You can either launch an app by selecting it or you can highlight an app and press the info button. With this info screen up, you can start the app or uninstall it. Let's go ahead and uninstall Picasa. After a few seconds, you should be taken back to the app screen and the app will be removed from your list. Back when we were looking at the app info screen, you may have noticed the word widget. Let me show you what that is. If you go to the settings page, then down to manage widgets, you should see a list of all the installed widgets. Widgets are installed when you download and install an app that has one. To activate a widget, select it. We'll go ahead and activate the weather bug widget. What do widgets do though? Widgets are shown when you press the home button. Just right of the clock, you'll see there are two spaces for them. Widgets are designed to offer quick access to useful content, in this case, the current temperature. Please note that some widgets will require you to launch the full app and configure it before it's functional. And while you can enable or disable widgets in the settings menu, actual configuration of the widget is done inside the full application. And that covers our app section. Be sure to check back here for new apps from our content partners often. Our goal is to have something for everyone. Thanks for your time, everyone.